You know, I have some great news, guys. After a 24-hour consultation call that I just had with an absolute mock draft god, I'm going to go through this 1 through 32, do my official updated mock here on April 1st, and this is totally... Uh, legitimate real. It is absolutely huge information, guys. We're getting close. We're less than a month away now, so let's get right into it. We know the Carolina Panthers trade for the number one overall pick. They want a quarterback, and I am controlling every team here. They are going to be taking a quarterback, but I just got some internal information. What's going on with Frank Reich? Who does he want Guys, a lot of people are disregarding this, but yes, he is probably very likely going to be drafting Tanner McKee with the number one overall pick. They're saying this kid from Stanford is the next Andrew Luck. And yes, yeah, so that's like guaranteed at this point. That is happening based off the recent intel that I heard from an absolutely trusted source. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We've got the number two overall pick, and guys, there's a lot of rumors going around that the Kansas City Chiefs might want to trade Patrick Mahomes for the number two overall pick. So guys, this is what I was told this morning. The Houston Texans want Mahomes. The Chiefs are sick of Mahomes. His contract is horrible. We could get a significant trade here with the, where are they? The Kansas City Chiefs at number 31. The deal would be Mahomes for the second 12-33, and we'll throw in a few seventh rounders, and we're going to go ahead and, what is this? Oh my God, you got to be kidding me. All right, well, I didn't realize that uh, PFF decided to go full money grab, and I'm not paying for this crap. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, let's pay seven bucks so you can take my debit card. That's not going to happen. So, guys, realistically, yes, we do expect uh, a trade there, but if they were to stay at number two, they very well likely uh, would look at uh, Jake Moody, the kicker from Michigan at number two. Now we're on to number three. We're on to Arizona. You know, Arizona, they got the full draft board available. The stuff that I'm hearing is, listen, Arizona wants to trade the number three overall pick to get Kyler Murray a replacement ACL. So essentially, this is something we've never seen the idea is they just trade the number three pick for a team that has a quarterback that has a healthy ACL. They take the ACL out of that quarterback and they give it to Kyler Murray and he's healed and they're willing to trade the number three pick. Now, I can't do this because I didn't realize this is such a joke. PFF is a complete money grab. We're not paying for this crap. It's pathetic and it's embarrassing. But listen... If they do pick number three overall, we're going to give them Will Anderson Jr. That's a pretty good pick. Now at number four, it is the Indianapolis Colts. They love a quarterback right now, and it is going to be Clayton Toon. We all expect it. Everyone's mocking him. He is the superstar QB from Houston. Now we've got Seattle on the clock at number five. And guys, when it comes to Jalen Carter... Uh, I'm hearing a very long jail sentence for Jalen Carter. So Jalen Carter's probably not even going to be in this draft. Um, so th that is the expectation there. But when it comes to Seattle, you know what? They're going to look for a center. That, that was what I heard with the number five overall pick. They want an interior offensive lineman. They're going to take a center. And the guy that they really do like is uh, this center from TC. Actually, you know what? This center that is a, a free agent. Where is this kid from? Who was who was it that they liked? I was getting a word. Oh no, it was this uh, center from TCU, Ali. So yeah, that's the expectation with the number five overall pick. Now we're on to Detroit. Detroit, looking at the draft board, they do like a certain tight end. They've loved him. It's going to be Tucker Craft from South Dakota State at number six. And then at number seven, it is the Raiders. 
and we are going to give the Raiders Bryce Young. They fall in love with Bryce Young. That one's obvious. At number eight, it is Atlanta. Atlanta in desperate need of a quarterback. They like that Division II quarterback, guys. No one's talking about him right now. The Division II quarterback going late. That's who they're going to select. Now it is Chicago. And listen, I would love to do trades. I can't do them. I thought you'd be able to do trades at least, but no, they've gone total. People are just greedy, obsessed with money. It's so sad to see websites become corrupted. It really is. It's disgusting. But listen, they want a running back. They want a superstar. Cameron Peoples, uh, the running back from Appalachian State. This is someone the Bears have been scouting. We know the whole story with B. John Robinson. You know, it is what it is. We're done with him. We're going to give them Peoples. That's who they want. Uh, and a lot of these guys are falling down the board. Now it is Philadelphia. And I did hear that Philadelphia, they're sick of Jalen Hurts. They're tired of it. They don't want to give him a big contract. He's a dual threat quarterback. He could get injured. They're looking to offload Jalen Hurts right now. Probably for a mid six round pick, I would say at this point. Uh, but because I can't trade, we are going to go ahead and give them... Uh, Jalen Carter with the stipulation that they will bail him out of prison. We're giving them Jalen Carter, but it's also they also have to get a really good lawyer. Uh, so they might actually have to give up their 30th pick to someone to acquire the best lawyer, maybe a lawyer uh, within the government to get Jalen Carter out there on the field. With the 11th overall pick, it is Tennessee. You know, Tennessee's looking at a receiver. The Traylon Burks pick wasn't very good. They are obsessed. Let me just tell you guys, when you look at Trey Tucker, I'm kidding guys, I'm joking. They love JSN. Yes, JSN going 11th overall. Now we're back to Houston. Houston ended up draft, yes, the kicker, but this is what Houston wants. So if Houston can't trade for Patrick Mahomes, they said, listen, we want the best special teams in football. So they draft a, kinter, a kicker, but now they need the top punter, and this kid from Wingate, Evan, Ethan Evans, yes, we watched him yesterday in a secretive video. Now they've got the number one kicker and the number one punter, and now we are on to the New York Jets who do need an offensive tackle. The first offensive tackle going off the board. Who did they like? Oh, yes, they like this tackle from Kansas. Let's give him them. Yes, there we go. Uh, moving on to number 14, it is the New England Patriots. Now, the New England Patriots are actively sh shopping Mac Jones. Bill Belichick wants a new uh, utensil kitchen set and the ideal trade right now according to people Mac Jones is probably going to be traded for like kitchen utensils I'm not even like Bill Belichick he wants a new kitchen he's redesigning he says listen I don't even want anything for Mac Jones I want to get rid of him and I want a kitchen remodeled so the thing is we're expecting Mac Jones to get traded to the Raiders for basically a new kit, a new kitchen for Bill Belichick. So they're going to need a new quarterback. And uh, Bill Belichick does have his eyes on Max Duggan. He's very gritty. The TCU, he had the huge run. Uh, now we are on to number 15. It is the Green Bay Packers. And we know the Green Bay Packers, that they, they've got Jordan Love now. They're probably trading Aaron Rodgers for a second, maybe a first-round pick, depending at number 15, you know, they're going to want to get Aaron Rodgers some weapons, and, and they're going to start with Blake Whitehart, the tight end from Wake Forest. He was amazing, you know, unbelievable at the combine. He's going to go 15. We are on to the Commanders at number 16. They desperately need a QB, and at this point, guys, it has to be C.J. Stroud going to the Commanders at that point. And now they've got a nice infrastructure of young quarterbacks with Sam Howell and C.J. Strout, the Pittsburgh Steelers on the clock. They desperately need uh, DB help, specifically a cornerback, and they are going to go 
ahead and take this cornerback from San Jose State, the no-fly zone, San Jose State, one of the best defenses in college football. We are back to Detroit. Who did Detroit take at six? Oh, yes, Tucker Craft. But the thing is, they want the Twin Tower tight ends. They want two big boys. So they're actually going to take another tight end, the kid from North Dakota State. And now they've got two of the best tight ends in football back to back at number six and number 18. We are on to the Bucks. They're going to go with Will Levis. Very, very solid. Good pick there. Now we're on to Seattle. Who did Seattle take? Oh, yes, they took the center. But you know what? They're going to double up on centers. They want to make sure that they really solidify their interior and they're going to go back-to-back -back centers there and then we get a forfeited pick the Miami Dolphins but there is a rumor the Dolphins are are bribing Roger Goodell they're giving him escort services they're doing things they want the 21st pick back they're actually right now in the process of possibly re-getting the 21st pick and then they might give the 21st pick up uh, to get to Atanga Vailoa some help when it comes to the injuries he's been suffering. So we're going to have to see. There's a big story on that. But now we're on to the 21st pick. It is the Chargers. And guys, so what I've been hearing with the 21st pick, the Chargers are going to have to pay Justin Herbert so much money. They're basically saying, listen, we want to give up the 21st pick. We just want money. We want salary cap money. We want to raise our salary cap. We're going to trade the 21st pick to Elon Musk for $30 million. That is the reported trade that we've been hearing. If they do end up picking someone, we are going to give them, you know, a very nice... Let, let's actually... Zay Flowers. They don't like Zay Flowers. I do like Jordan Addison. I like Jordan Addison. He's a great fit with the Chargers. And then at 22... The Baltimore Ravens, you know, we don't know what's going on. Is the Lamar situation, but we do have an inside report. Uh, they are actually talking about trading Lamar Jackson to uh, the XFL. And listen, it's a weird thing. They're like, look, we want to trade Lamar Jackson to the XFL. We're looking to get back a lot of capital, a lot of players from the XFL. So the rumor deal right now, when it comes to Lamar Jackson, he's going to be traded to the XFL for an entire roster in the XFL in an unprecedented move. And then the Baltimore Ravens are going to work out all of those players this is totally inside stuff. They're going to work out all those players, and then whoever they like, they're going to take. When it comes to the 22nd overall pick, uh, you know what? They're probably just going to take a quarterback because if they do trade Lamar Jackson, yes, they're going to have to take Stenson Bennett. I mean, my goodness, he's a winner. He's a superstar. That is an easy pick, and now it is the Minnesota Vikings who do have Kirk Cousins. And guys, we have a report on Kirk Cousins. They are going to offer him a fully guaranteed seven-year, $350 million contract extension that beats Deshaun Watson's fully guaranteed. And Kirk Cousins is expected to decline that because he wants to test the free agency waters. You got to respect it, but because of all of it, they are going to have to take a quarterback. They are going to take Anthony Richardson. And now we're on to the Jacksonville Jaguars who uh, they want to trade Trevor Lawrence. They're sick of it. They're done with him. Yes, they had a nice little run. Yes, he's developing. But they want a real superstar quarterback. So they will be selecting A. O'Connell from Purdue. We know A. O'Connell. Great quarterback at Purdue, you know, made the Big Ten Championship game. Next, we have the New York Giants. They are going to want a receiver. So we're going to take a look at the receivers that are left. Quentin Johnson, Johnston's going to be a bust. Zay Flowers is too, uh, doesn't, you know, he's very small. He, he I, I think Zay, the, the thing with Zay Flowers, there's like a report that's going around. Zay Flowers weighs 130 pounds. I'm not even getting, like, they were saying, listen, he paid people at the Combine to up his weight. This kid weighs 130. Uh, Nathaniel Dell, Josh Downs, these guys are all about 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, They're too small. Uh, so they are going to go ahead and draft. Uh, realistically, let's actually find a good receiver for them. I want them, yes. See, I want them to get a good receiver. Grant Debo's. 
Abs from Charlotte, absolutely. Now we're on to the Dallas Cowboys, and we are going to give them, it's just a match made in heaven, I think. Uh, we are going to give them B. John Robinson, the superstar running back from Texas. On to Buffalo. We know Buffalo, no matter what, uh, no matter what they need, they're always going to draft an underperforming, overrated defensive lineman. So that's who they always pick, and we're going to give them an, an overrated defensive lineman. We will give them... Ah, yes, from Chattanooga, Maxwell. I was watching him uh, on to the 28th overall pick. It is, you desperately need, you know, a good solid tight end. They did sign Irv Smith Jr., the Cincinnati Bengals right now, the Joe Burrow contract stuff, it's getting ugly. They do want to lock up Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. But actually, guys, let me tell you something I heard. There's a rumor that the Cincinnati Bengals might want to trade both Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase and build around T. Higgins. So that is a big thing. They're like, listen, we're trading Burrow probably for a mid-third. Uh, that's the expected, what you're going to get there. So they want to build around Jamar Chase. They want to build around uh, DTR, Thompson Robinson, the QB. He's amazing. At number 29, we will give... The New Orleans Saints is a team. They want to just get the best player available, so they're going to go with Witherspoon. What a great pick that is. At number 30, uh, Philadelphia. What? Who do they draft at number 10? Oh, they drafted Jalen Carter, but actually they're going to have to give this pick up. So they're going to forfeit this pick because they have to afford a lawyer to get Jalen Carter out of jail. So they're not going to be making a pick, but if they did make a pick, they are obsessed with with the punter from Oklahoma. That's the obsession they currently have. And then the Chiefs at 31. This is a team, they're looking to trade Mahomes. They want a new quarterback. They're sick of paying these guys. Uh, but we're actually going to go ahead and give them... How do you take all this stuff off? We're going to look. We're, we're probably going to give them a... Who do they need? Defensive line help? All right, we'll give them a defensive line. Let's see the latest rumors on that. We will go ahead and give them... Stills from West Virginia. So that is the absolute latest intel that I received. Am I not even going to be able to see my result? Okay, they at least show me the results. So this is the latest mock draft, the accurate stuff on April 1st uh, based on the intel that I received. You guys can take a look at that, but that is big, big, big news. And we will see what happens, guys. It's less than a month away. It's becoming more and more clear. I'm sure you guys can see a lot of mock drafts on the internet. It's all looking the same at this point. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.